so right now I'm on treatment. The machine is doing drain one of three. I am connected to the machine and I really, really, really need to use the bathroom. What the heck am I gonna do? So first I'm gonna press the down arrow. I've only drained two milliliters. I know I have a lot left to drain. Go all the way down. My treatment finishes at 11.40 and it's currently 11.04. I cannot hold this. I really have to use the bathroom. What am I gonna do here? Um, I'm not gonna pee on myself, so I'm gonna press the stop button, which is the red button. Drain stopped. So my treatment's stopped. I'm supposed to be draining right now, but I'm not. So I'm gonna do an emergency get off procedure. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna come back and restart the treatment. So this is how it's done. So I'm going to introduce you to a new item called the flexi cap. I haven't talked about this yet. The flexi cap is kind of like the mini cap. The mini cap goes on the end of your transfer set. This, the flexi cap goes on the end of the patient line. So I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to clean my transfer set, one minute soak, one minute scrub. I'm going to disconnect my transfer set from my patient line, put the mini cap on, put the flexi cap on, go to the bathroom and come back. All right. So obviously I'm in the bind right now. I'm connected to the machine. The machine's draining. I press the stop button to stop the program, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is close my transfer set because I'm not doing anything with the machine right now. So better safe than sorry, especially since I know I'm about to disconnect. I'm going to close. So after you close, you do the one minute scrub, one minute soak. You always do this before you disconnect. I have my gauze soaked with Alkavis. I'm going to do the one minute scrub, making sure I don't disconnect from the machine. Scrub, 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 scrub. Then I'm going to do the one minute soak. Put it down on my lap. Let it soak for a minute. I'm going to get my mask ready. All right, I have my mask on. Always make sure you have your proper PPE. And I'm going to grab my flexi cap. I'm going to look at the bottom and make sure that it isn't expired. And right there in the writing, it shows that it expires later on this year. So that's good. I'm going to look at my mini cap, make sure it's not expired. That's good. So now I'm going to take my flexi cap. I'm going to put it on a flat surface and I'm going to open it. There's a lip there that helps you open it with ease. So I'm going to open it. And right now I'm going to show you guys what the flexi cap looks like. Normally I would just leave it in the package and then open the mini cap. So that's it. It's bigger than the mini cap. It has the grooves on the outside. It's got the iodine inside. So now I'll take my mini cap, put it on a flat surface and open it up. And I'll show you the mini cap in comparison to the flexi cap. Look how much smaller it is, more iodine, very, very smooth. And there you can see a really good comparison between the two. One is clearly not a mini cap <laughs> and one clearly is the mini cap. Okay, so I put them back on the packages. So I'm ready to disconnect. I'm gonna untwist it a little bit to get me ready, all right? Keep my transfer set aimed down so air doesn't rush in. Screw my flexi cap on. Screw my mini cap on. Sorry for the video, but it's really hard to do it by yourself. So that's why this is called an emergency procedure. So there you go. I'm gonna put my patient line back on the organizer. And there it is, drain stop, line on organizer. And I'm good to go. So now that I'm back from the bathroom, I grab an extra mini cap because I use one of my mini caps. I grab my gloves and I try to put them on without breaking them. And I broke the glove, but it's okay. Gloves on, extra mini cap, grab my Alkavis soaked gauze, scrub for one minute, take my second gauze and I'll wrap it for one minute. Now I'm about to open my transfer set. So I need to put my mask on, make sure I don't breathe inside of that opening into my abdominal cavity. So grab my patient line from the organizer, take the gauze off the transfer set, 
I'm going to loosen the mini cap just a little bit so it can help me. I'm going to loosen that flexi cap a little bit so I can easily drop it. All right. Unscrew that flexi cap. Unscrew that mini cap. And hurry up and put it right back on there. Screw it on. Take my gauze. Wipe off any iodine that may have been left in the transfer set so it doesn't get on my clothing. Open my transfer set. And I'm ready to go back in the game. There it is, transfer set open, connected to patient line. Let's press green to go. It'll say, please wait, and I'm back on drain one of three. And if I look back, I'm back at my four milliliter drain, and now it's five. And that's how you do an emergency get off on the machine, just in case an emergency happens and you have to disconnect from the machine during the treatment. Your nurse should have gone over this with you in training. Um, always ask your nurse and your nephrologist for help or advice if you need it when it comes to treatments. Don't just rely on a YouTube video. If you have questions, put them in the comment box and let me know. If you're my patient, then you should know how to do this already.